Man, that's quite the view, isn't it? Uh, that is the Truckee River Valley here in Nevada. Uh, there's Reno. Far in the distance. It's beautiful, huh? I am uh, on my way. Let's let these cars get past. Anyway, yeah, I am on my way to Virginia City, which is this way a few more miles. But I uh, came upon this lookout and wanted to show it to you guys because it is a spectacular view from up here. Am I right? Wow. All right, I am entering Virginia City right now. How about a look as I drive into the town? Of course, when I get there, I'm going to stop in half a mile park. Arrive at Virginia City. Thank you for that, Australian Siri. Anyway, yeah, as I uh, get in here and uh, get to the downtown area, which you can see is straight ahead, I'm going to park and get out on foot. But I want to give you a look coming into town. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I will tell you this uh, real quick. Um, pretty much the entire downtown is on the National Register. Uh, it's a National Historic District. This was quite the town in its day. It's pretty early in the morning, 9 a.m. I wanted to get here before it gets crazy. It is Saturday early September. Uh, this town is a huge tourist destination and um, it gets pretty nuts, especially on a Saturday from what I understand. And you can already see, even at this early hour, yeah, there's tons of people here. Let's give you a drive through though real quick. It looks so awesome, doesn't it? Pretty much all of these buildings were built mid late 1800s everything here so uh, yeah it's uh, still looks like an old frontier town of course it's a mining town or it was a mining town but wow look at all this Isn't this crazy all right I'm going to uh, well let's see if I can find a parking spot Well, I'm just going to take a slow walk down the main street here. Let you take it all in. Check out the uh, wooden sidewalks. There's just so much here. Wow. Well, let's see. Virginia City. Built on silver mining. Uh, in 1859, the Comstock Lode was discovered here, one of the largest uh, strains of silver ever discovered in the United States. By 1870, the population was uh, a little over 7,000. In 1875, it was 25,000. So the city, the city just exploded. I don't know what that loud noise was, but. Somebody's working over here. Um, of course, eventually the mine got, well, mined out. And uh, the population started dropping. By 1880, it was 10,900. Today, there are a little over 700 people here. Uh, I think the 2022 estimate was 707. So not near as many people live here. 
as they used to. Of course, the silver is gone. It is a tourist town now. Um, it gets very busy here. You can see why. It's so awesome looking. This has uh, been kept in basically its old Wild West condition. Yeah, it's so awesome. Now, the few people who do live here, uh, they live in pretty good. Um, the median age is 54, so it's an older town. Let me come out here a little bit. You can see here some of the town. 61% uh, of the town is male. 39% female. I can get out here on the street now. There's no traffic. Give you a look at all this. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so cool here. Wow. Kind of reminds me of Deadwood a little bit uh, in South Dakota, but it's a little bigger here. Anyway, the median household income. Are you ready for this? 116000 a year. That's $2,200 a week, a little bit more. That's pretty good living. Clearly, the people who do live here make some good money off the tourism. <laughs> the town is 97% white. Last 3% is mixed. Poverty, 12%. Pretty low. Children's poverty, 17 and under, zero. It's an older town. I don't think there's a lot of kids living here. Might explain that to some degree. Folks 65 and older, uh, poverty level is 14%. Median home value. Are uh, you ready for this one? $356,000. Yeah. Houses are pricey. Crime is low, 1.5 incidents per 100 people last year. The US average is 2.3. All right, now that I've got all that relayed to you so you can uh, um, digest it, I'm gonna look around a bit. Now, Virginia City is the county seat for Story County, and it's got an old historic county courthouse. That's it right there, a street over. We'll go check that out here shortly. Uh, I just wanted to show you the town from the other side of the street here. So you can see it in the sun. Now it's it's quite the place, isn't it? Isn't that something? Mark Twain lived here for a couple years, uh, 1862 to 1864. Worked for a local newspaper. It is said that he was run out of town because another editor of a newspaper here challenged him to a duel. Also, the town has a ghost, that of Julia Boulet, a well-known, well-loved prostitute and madam. She was murdered here by a French drifter by the name of John Millane. Millane? Millane, I think. Mr. Millane was caught and hung here in town, and I read that Mark Twain actually witnessed that hanging. Anyway, I just want to, yeah, I just want to give you a look at everything, because uh, it is just so cool. Now uh, you can see uh, we're on the side of a mountain. Uh, I think it's Mount Davidson. I read. Uh, 
This is just so cool. This is one of the coolest places I've ever been. Of course, I love the old Wild West. I devoured books on Wyatt Earp and Buffalo Bill, Kit Carson, uh, which I'm going to head to Carson City next, named after him. I'm kind of on the edge of downtown now. Yeah, that's where I came in. Here's the legendary Silver Queen Hotel and Saloon and Wedding Chapel. My understanding is that there is a dress here made of real silver dollars that is quite famous. And I think it's inside here and it's closed. Yeah, this is where Mark Twain uh, worked, it says. I'll check this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess he worked from inside this building. How about that? Hopefully you can see that. The sun's bouncing off the glass here. Awesome. All right, here it is, the Story County Courthouse, built in 1876. It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Uh, Italianate architecture, so it takes its cues from six, uh, 16th century Renaissance Italy. It's got a uh, Lady of Justice statue up there. She is one of the few in the United States, this statue, that is not blindfolded. That's, she's life-size too. How cool is that, huh? Beautiful building. They got a few things up here straight up. There's a house right across the street from the uh, courthouse. We'll take a look at a few houses here before it's all over. It's even cool up here, though. I can't pass a saloon called the Bucket of Blood. And at least not have a beer. So, I'm going to do that right now. Let's go take a look in there. It's 10 a.m. too early for a beer. Not Nevada, it isn't. I'm having a Ash Canyon Amber Ale that is relatively local out of Carson City. Anyway, uh, it's a quaint old bar. Look, they have a picture of Julia Boulette on the wall here. You remember me telling you about her earlier. She was the prostitute that was murdered here in town. Anyway, yeah, that's a pretty cool place. Well, should we check out some houses? How about if we do? Wow! <laughs> Holy cow. Amazing right off the bat. When I saw the $356,000 median home value, I was like, wow, that's a lot for a really old town. But man, you can see it, can't you? Look at this. I'll check out this house here. <laughs> that's the front of it but most of it yeah drops down to the ground there wow what an interesting place this must be to live built on the side of a mountain like this downtown just uh, two blocks that way it's 
It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yes. Really cool looking old houses. Look at that person's backyard. Isn't that something? Well, the uh, neighborhoods end pretty abruptly. <laughs> this is the edge of town here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I'll tell you what, guys. Let's head to Carson City. Check that place out. Now I'm just a few miles out of Carson City, but uh, yeah, I gotta see this. I can't come all the way here and at least not take a look at the famous Bunny Ranch, Moonlight Bunny Ranch. The most famous brothel in the US, maybe the world. So, uh, <laughs> now I'm not going in there don't worry and uh, I won't be able to go inside anyway because they don't allow cameras but uh, I just wanted to drive by it <laughs> and they've already got some uh, funny stuff here don't they speed limit 69 just kidding 35 <laughs> anyway I think this is it up here I see some pink buildings Exit 69. Everything is 69 here. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Cool, huh? The famous Moonlight Bunny Ranch. It is, uh, what time is it? It's about 11 a.m., so it doesn't look like there's a lot of customers here. Let me see if I could turn around. I watched the TV show. Well, I watched an episode or two. All right, well, now that I've done that, <laughs> uh, let's head to Carson City. All right, everyone, I am in downtown Carson City on Carson Street, I believe it's called. It's uh, pretty beautiful, I have to say. Now, some of you are probably wondering why we're not visiting Reno on this trip. We are going to do Reno in a future video. In fact, we're actually staying in Reno, near downtown. We're going to take tomorrow off from the camera and hang out in Reno, hit a casino or two. But in the near future we will be coming back to this area and uh, we're going to do a trip that starts here in Reno go over to Sacramento uh, Oakland then I want to hit some small towns in Northern California Western Oregon Western Washington State so when we're in the Reno area of course we'll hit Sparks and uh, Lake Tahoe etc etc maybe even make a visit to the legendary Mustang Ranch. We'll have to see. But anyway, it's all about Carson City right now. The capital city of Nevada. How about if I tell you about it? 2022, the population here was 59,000. That's peak population. The town is growing, and it's growing pretty rapidly. Coming into town, there's just new construction everywhere. It's quite beautiful. Um, median age is 43. 
Gender breakdown is 50-50. Uh, the city is 63% white, 26% Hispanic, 4% Asian, 1% Black, 1% Native American, last 5% mixed. Median household income, uh, $65,300 a year. That's $12.56 a week. So incomes are pretty good. And that reflects in the median home value, you ready for this? $394,000. That's median home value here. Woo! I'll show you a few uh, neighborhoods or a street or two before I leave here. Poverty is pretty good, 11% overall. Children 17 and under, 17%. That's a tad high. Folks 65 and older, 10%. That's exactly the same as the U.S. as a whole. Crime, tiny bit high. 27 incidents per 1,000 people last year. Uh, U.S. average 23. Now, uh, as I may have told you earlier, I'm not sure earlier in the video, but anyway, Carson City is named after legendary frontiersman Kit Carson. A trapper, explorer, guide, uh, communicated with Native Americans quite a bit for the U.S. government. Uh, many newspaper articles, books were written about him at the time. He was actually one of the most famous people in the United States in the mid-1800s. I read about him a lot as a kid. So, uh, okay. Now that I've given you all that, let's take a look around. I am uh, approaching the Capitol building. It is right here. State Capitol building of Nevada. Can't really see it too well in all these trees, can you? But uh, I will be grabbing Nicole and we will tour that here shortly, up next in the video. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. The buildings are in incredible shape. None of them are empty. Uh, I'm not seeing any graffiti anywhere. No homeless. It's just a, just a really beautiful downtown. This is the Carson City Mint. It operated between 1870 and 1893. Minted coins for the US. Gold and silver. The reason, of course, being because of all the silver and gold mines in the area. I don't know if I told you this earlier, but back then, silver was almost as valuable as gold in those days. Great old building. Take a look at some houses here. What do they look like in a town where the median home value is almost $400,000? That's pricey. That sure is pretty there though. Your classic white picket fence. I had a girl tell me once that she wanted to get married and have a house with exactly that, a white picket fence. Is a house for sale? I guess we can, or have somebody look it up. I am on Minnesota Street. Let's see if I can see the number. 402. Yeah, that house is for sale. 402 Minnesota. A lot of these houses have these wood fences, though. I really like that. What do you guys think? Well, one thing's for sure. The streets are beautiful, aren't they? Look at this. Uh, 
I'm actually another block out. Houses are getting prettier and bigger. I think you can see that through the trees, kinda. See more of the white picket fence. They love that here. It's kind of a unique thing. And no cookie cutter here. How pretty these houses are. Uh, Nicole's waiting for me, so I'm going to go grab her and uh, we'll check out the Capitol. All right, we are at the Nevada State Capitol building. It's a beautiful building. Built in 1871. It is Italianate architecture. So it takes its cues from uh, 16th century Renaissance Italy. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go inside and take a look. All right, well, we're gonna walk in. Wow, we just walk in, no security. Or is there? Pretty cool. Sure, and, um, and um, what was it? Vermont, New Hampshire and Vermont. Were yeah. Very lame. <laughs> the state tree is the pinion pine. Okay. So they put the pinion pine branch there. And obviously that's the profile of the dome. Oh, cool. You've got to have the mining pick and the donkey just because it looks cool. Ab absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hi, right next to Nebraska. Cool. <laughs> and out of all the ones you've been to. This is a statue of Sarah Winnemucca. She is the first Native American to publish a book. And they have a book in her hand there. Yeah, right here when we get inside is the governor's office. Joe Lombardo, the governor. Anyway, well, let's look around, let's see what we can find. Here's a model of the building. You reading some stuff? Yep. <laughs> this is a 36 star flag that was uh, made when Nevada became the 36th state. In 1864, Supreme Court. Well, let's check this out. It's not very big, is it? That's it right there. Well, there's the little museum. Uh, this building is just not very big, is it? No, it's not. That's a very big. small capital. Uh, that's the other end of the capital there, and it's pretty much it. <laughs> there's two floors. We're on a second floor. Uh, it says assembly there. I guess that's where the Senate and the House meet. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they have their own separate rooms. There's a wing there, but we can't get in it. Uh, it's locked up. I showed you the governor's office. There's the lieutenant governor and the Supreme Court. And it's all just uh, the treasurer. It's all, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not big. There's no wasted space in here. Anyway, uh, you come down to the first floor, and there's the Secretary of State's office. We're basically giving you an entire tour of the building right now. This is all there, all there is to it. Yeah, it's just a restroom there, and that statue I showed you earlier, and then the governor's office on the other side. Uh, no security, they just have some police right here when you walk in. A couple, several police officers. Very friendly police. Yeah, they're really they're cool guys. <laughs> yeah, they're. But uh, yeah, and there's the treasure, and the building ends right there. Right here. 
it's pretty, but it's uh, it's very small. So anyway, all right. Well, I guess we'll uh, move on. Okay, so this is why we couldn't find the Senate chamber and the House chamber in the Capitol building. Because they're not there. They're in this building right here. They have moved them away. I can see the reasoning behind it because uh, as we showed you, uh, the Capitol building here in Nevada is pretty small. Anyway, yeah, there it is. We are in downtown Reno. There is the casino district. We are uh, gonna have some dinner here, downtown. But I wanted a casino. Well, we'll probably go to a casino after. But for now, we are gonna go to Silver Peak Grill and Tap Room. As soon as we can find the entrance. Yeah, there it is. All right, we are, uh, as usual, gonna to head to the bar, which is right there. Doesn't look too crowded either for Saturday night. I have ordered a Woodford Reserve on the rocks. What do you have on? You got your Jack and Water. Jack and Water. She is a Jack Daniels girl, aren't you? Yes, I am. We ordered an appetizer. It is uh, Bratwurst Sliders. So it's got the bratwurst and some grilled onion there, and that is a, a cheese sauce, a cheddar, beer cheese. So uh, they look pretty good. Uh, these were, or are, $15. So here is the verdict. Uh, this cheese sauce, I don't know, it's not very good. It's thin and it's cold. Yeah, I don't like that. Seems like it should be warm to dip these into. The good news is they don't really need it. They taste really good without it. I, the, like, it, I like it without it just fine. It tastes really huh? good. You get, you get the flavor of the bratwurst and the onions a lot better. You know? Yeah. I, without it. I think so too. It doesn't even need the cheese. This is really good just the way it comes with the onion and the bratwurst. Because the bratwurst is really flavorful. Very tasty. Our food is here. I'm basically having the spaghetti with meatballs, but it's with uh, fettuccine. It's fettuccine and meatballs. Yeah, I guess they don't have spaghetti noodles here. And with a tomato basil sauce. Smells really good. And you're having? I'm having a seafood, well, it's called seafood Alfredo, pas Alfredo pasta. However, I don't like Alfredo, so I did it with marinara. But it is shrimp, scallops, and salmon tossed now in a marinara sauce with some basil and uh, I don't know what else. I believe that's the gist okay. of it, but it looks and it smells really good. Well, we are definitely doing a Italian theme tonight. Yes, Am I right? Yes, we so, uh, make sure it heats up well when we have leftovers. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be dinner tomorrow night too. So, uh, anyway. Oh, mine, by the way, is $22 and yours is? 23. 23 for yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the verdict. Mine tastes a lot better than it looks. I honestly wasn't expecting a whole lot, uh, but that sauce is really good. It's got a little bit of a bite to it, a little bit of spice to it. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, anyway, uh, the meatballs are really good, so uh, it's a win. How's yours, son? I like mine. I like mine a lot, and I'm really glad. Well, obviously, I wouldn't have gotten it unless I changed it to marinara, but I think the marinara goes really well on it. Just cool. Probably better than the outfit I would have gone on it. So, <laughs> no, mine's very, very good. Well, it is a good thing we like them because this is dinner tomorrow night too. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, here's our check. $89. It's not too bad, huh? Not too bad since we had a few cocktails. Yeah. If we stay under 100, we're usually pretty happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, that's not too bad. All right, everyone, that's the end of this video. We are heading deep into Nevada to a frontier town that's still like the old Wild West. So that's up next. Wild Wild West. Yeah. So I'll be looking for that.